Professor Robert West, what are the problems of communicating the research on e-cigarettes and novel tobacco products in general? The first thing to note is that the problems that we have in the e-cigarette research are not exclusive to e-cigarette research. I'm afraid uh, that you know, they, they are uh, problems for the whole field uh, of public health and clinical science generally. In e-cigarette research, what we find is that a lot of researchers are over-interpreting results in terms of the kind of measures they use, um, ex uh, exaggerating the importance of those measures for, for health um, and they're not making the kind of comparisons that are needed so that, for example, when you notice an effect on the body of an e-cigarette, how big is that effect and how harmful is that relative to cigarettes, which is what uh, you're mainly comparing it with in terms of what people are using them for. So that's one thing. The other thing is uh, over-interpreting in terms of cause and effect. So when you see an association between two things, it doesn't necessarily mean uh, that one causes the other. And there are lots of ways in which you can test to see whether there is genuinely a causal relationship or not. And, um, and I'm afraid that on, on many occasions with e-cigarette research, uh, the researchers and the people who then comment on the research are a little bit lax in the way that they um, over-interpret in relation to causality. And if you don't mind me asking, are you in any way funded by, for example, the tobacco industry, and does that matter? I mean, we heard this story about this foundation that receives Philip Morris Foundation funding. Is that a problem? Well, first of all, I'm not funded by the tobacco industry or the e-cigarette industry. I do consultancy for companies that do prescription drugs to help people stop smoking. Um, and my research is funded by Cancer Research UK. Yes, I think it does matter. I think the source of funds is very important um, for all kinds of reasons. I think that the new foundation could be... Um, quite problematic in relation to its source of funding, um, not least because even though the research that it conducts may be wholly independent of the tobacco industry, the very fact that you've got the tobacco industry funding harm reduction research is potentially going to be taking resources away from other things. So it helps to direct the research agenda. And it also, and I'm sure this is one of the reasons the tobacco industry is interested in it, it kind of it's good PR, basically. It's good for them to be seen to be um, part of the solution instead of part of the problem. And at the moment, they are pretty much exclusively part of the problem. But a lot of the companies are moving towards e-cigarettes. They've seen the writing on the wall. No, I, I don't think they've seen the writing on the wall. There's no writing on the wall. Um, if you look at tobacco industry profits, and if you look at the uh, worldwide at the consumption of tobacco, these are highly profitable industries and will continue to be worldwide uh, for the foreseeable future unless something pretty dramatic is done. Uh, the kind of harm reduction that we're seeing at the moment is an absolute drop in the ocean in relation to the global tobacco burden and the tobacco companies are not you know they're not uh, to be honest I don't think they're worried at all about the kind of stuff we're doing um, maybe going forward 20 or 30 years that you know things may be different so on the long-term horizon but the for, for the foreseeable future they're going to be selling um, pretty much the same number of cigarettes or tobacco products as they've been selling for the last few years uh, you spoke about um how this, these, these issues, complicated scientific issues, are presented in the press. If a journalist, like me for example, or a Daily Mail journalist, asked you, should, is it safe for me to smoke an e-cigarette? Can somebody like you, an expert, give a clear yes or no? Yes, I can give a clear answer. Um, but the clear answer is not a clear yes or no. This is how I would put it in relation to safety. On the basis of the concentrations of toxic chemicals that are in e-cigarette vapor compared with cigarette smoke, we would expect e-cigarettes to be much, much safer than cigarettes, but not completely safe. 